Look at me, Daddy. Look at me. I'm doing it for you. All right. On that note, welcome back to Pokemon Moon. The fuck is happening up here? Oh my god, it's that girl from the intro. Really? You want to go to the ruins? I don't know what you hope to find there. It's the girl from the intro, guys. We're gonna follow her. Bro, what did you see? What did you see? What mysterious creatures. Pokemon sometimes leap right out of the grass to help people in trouble. Did you know? Hmm, no I didn't. It's interesting now. Pokemon are weird, bro. They got their own agenda, they got their own deal. Mahalo Trail is looking dope. It's nice because I've played a little bit of Sun. Uh, so seeing these, you know, these same areas in day and night, they both look interesting and uh, cool. This has a, like a cooler color palette, obviously, because it's nighttime, but it's, it's awesome. You can't come out, we'll get in trouble if anyone sees you. What you got in that bag? What you got in that bag, girl? I like her hair, though, I do have to say. I think I, that's something I say in most Let's Plays that we've done on this channel. We did it in Pikmin. There's something else, too, I was just recently watching that we said that in. Oh, man! What the fuck? It's a cloud dream. That looks like a graphic that would be on the side of a newscast, like a weather report. Oh, God! The Spiro, That young Spiro life! Man, Spiros were fucking shit up in the beginning of the anime as well. Oh man. Girl. Turn around. Yeah. She's got a cool look. Very chill. Uh... What's wrong? Help. Save Nebby. What the fuck, dude? Walk out there. Your Pokemon's obviously not able to defend itself against Spiro, which first off, that's just sad, but... The Spiro are attacking it, but but I'm too afraid to go out there. My legs feel like they might give out. Okay, so what was what was the plan once you got to the bridge then? Like what was your what was your plan? <sighs> You've let your Pokemon down, you know that? I'll go save it. Oh god. Do I have to go s oh Jesus. Uh you can't really walk slower. Oh, maybe you can if you use the D-pad. But who uses the D-pad? All right, we're gonna go punch these Spiro in the fucking mouths, in the beaks, beak bash shit. Oh god! Oh, protect the little guy. <laughs> He's so scared. Oh. Well. <laughs> he just atomized the bridge below us. So unbeknownst to us, we just like landed on a grenade. Oh man. What the fuck? Look at that dude. He's not fucking around. Yeah. <laughs> My feeling exactly, Nubby. Just like, what? Oh man. I'm guessing that's Tapu Koko. Because they talked about a Pokemon that was an island guardian, so that's gotta be it. Phew! Oh, oh thank goodness. You tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. You know what happened last time you used it? You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nebby. Do whatever the fuck you want. I know you were trying to save me that time. And I couldn't even help you in return. I couldn't even walk across the goddamn bridge and go punch some birds in the fucking throat. A pew! What? What is that? Pew pew! Man, it's like a space shooter up in this bitch. Pew pew pew! Sparkling stone? It feels almost warm somehow. Oh, please forgive me. I'm so grateful for you helping us out of that dangerous spot. Who the fuck are you? I think this stone must belong to you, since your head's full of fucking rocks. She just swerved that question so hard. Who are you? Uh, this rock's yours, right? Uh, you got the sparkling stone now. Please, don't tell anyone about this, about seeing Nebby. It's it's a, a secret, okay? It's a secret to everybody. Get in the fucking bag, you piece of shit. I'm gonna keep you trapped in here. Well, I guess, <laughs> comparatively, a bag is pretty nice compared to a fucking metal-ass Pokeball. 
I like how I was offended by her keeping that thing in a bag, but like, I've been doing that shit for years. Um, I'm worried we might get attacked again by some wild Pokemon or, or something. I know it's too much for me to ask, but do you think you could see us back to town? Oh yeah, we'll do that. That's a nice thing to do. Be, be a good friend, be a good person. It's the lesson of the day. Be, be a stand-up dude or lady dude. Or anything in between. Whatever you may be, be stand-up and be awesome and we love you. Ah, oh, shit, son. All right, we made it back to town. Professor Hot Dad. Hey, AP, looks like you found, or looks like you missed the kahuna, yeah? But you found my assistant, oh yeah! Okay, so this chick's his assistant. Looks like you already met, but in case, this is my assistant. Oh, um, yes, you can call me Lily. And Lily, this here is AP. He just moved here to Alola. Take good care of him. So, you're one of the professor's acquaintances? Yeah, I guess you could say something like that. Professor he Hot Dad and me go way back. We've got a real special friendship. Uh, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> the Kahuna is back. Kahuna Holla has returned. Holla at you, boy. <laughs> One of the strongest Pokemon users in Alola, oh yeah! Man, I wish people like... fucking were on my dick like that. <laughs> like, anytime I showed up, they're like, Fuck yeah, AP! He's the coolest guy that is here at the moment! Who's named is AP, you know? Shit, have I missed something? And Abba, would you go off to, Kahuna? I thought we were meeting here. I'm Kahuna out of this island, after all. Whenever there is a problem on the island, it is my duty to resolve it. Sorry, Lily, what were you saying before? The fuck were you talking about? For some reason, I thought I saw Tapu Coco flying about. Uh, you did, bro. Um, yes. Kahunahala, Nebby was attacked by Spiro on Plank Bridge when this boy helped get it away. Or helped it get away. But the bridge collapsed, and I thought both of them might fall into the bottom of the ravine. And that's when the island guardian deity swooped in to save them. Well, what the shit? Oh, that's something you don't hear every day. Okay, time out. So Tapu Koko is the guardian of this island. He's also a Pokemon. So I'm guessing at some point, since the whole mantra is, gotta catch them all, we're gonna be able to catch this fucker? What happens then if we catch this guy and he can't guard the, uh, the island anymore? What the fuck's gonna happen then? Like, oh, sorry, your little boy fell into the ravine. I wish we had a guardian Pokemon to save his ass, but you know, that, that Pokemon is actually just sitting in somebody's fucking PC. Some dweeb caught him. Oh, man. Oh, although it is said to protect us, our Tapu Koko is a rather fickle creature. Yet our guardian was moved to save you. Hot dad, my boy. I think we have cause to celebrate. Seems I should entrust this brave and kind young boy with a Pokemon of his own. We'll make a fine trainer out of him. I'm glad to meet you, child. I'm Hala, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. Welcome to Alola. Young young Hot Dad has told me of your coming. <laughs> Did he now? <laughs> God damn it, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'm glad we got a chance to meet today. Come on, come my Pokemon. Let's have a look at you. All right, so question of the day. If you got this game, who did you start with? If you didn't get this game, which of these fucking cuties would you choose? Look at them, they're adorable. Aww. First is the grass type Pokemon, Rowlet. Cool. Oh, he does his little strut. Next is the fire type Pokemon, Litten. Shit's lit, son. And last is the water type Pokemon. Nobody's gonna fucking choose Poppy Billy Lou. I'm just kidding. He's cute. I can't say his name, but he's he's cute. <sighs> All right. Which of the Pokemon will you choose as your partner? Okay, so on the live stream, if you guys are on there, if not, you should check that out on our Twitch page. We are playing Sun, and we chose the Fire type Pokemon Litten. I'm, I don't want to choose this guy. I'm sorry, buddy. So I think for this one, we are going to be going with the Grass-type Rowlet. Cute little owl boy! Will you choose the Grass-type Pokemon Rowlet? Yeah, boy! You chose Rowlet! He's so inquisitive! He wants to learn! Give him a book! <laughs> Only when you have cho both chosen each other can you truly call each other partners. Oh, snap. 
so it's always been Pikachu, I choose you, or whatever. But now, in the Alola region, the Pokemon must choose us as well. And I think that's important, and that's a cool touch. So let's see if little Rowlet there also decides to choose you. Hey, buddy. How's it going? I like your bow tie. Want to hang out? Get some coffee? Rowlet has its gaze fixed on you. Hmm. Did he just shake his fucking head no? Did he just reject me? Is this gonna be is this gonna be the start of this let's play? This fucking Pokemon rejecting my ass? Aw. He's cute. <laughs> Look at him. You lifted Rowlet gently in your arms. Yes! He's so adorable. Cuckoo! I have a Litten plush that I got yesterday. I want the Rowlet one, but of course my GameStop was like sold the fuck out. The grass type Pokemon Rowlet has, looks a bit tickled. Aww, he's a bit tickled, guys. So Rowlet has accepted you as well. Having another, having having accepted one another, you'll surely surely be friends for life. Holy shit! Talking English, speaking. Would you like to give a nickname? Nah, not right now. He's just our little pal. We don't need to worry about giving him a nickname or anything like that. Nice to meet you, Rowlet. Pew! Okay, hold on. <laughs> she was just like, all right, hey man, don't tell anybody about this fucking Pokemon, okay? It's really important that you keep this between you and me. Now here he is, just hanging the fuck out while there's, <laughs> there's clearly people in the background. That's like me being like, hey man, don't tell anybody that I have a tattoo of Nathan's face on my ass. Please don't tell anybody. But then like next room over at the party, you see me just like showing it off and talking about my Nathan face ass tattoo. Uh, don't, don't tell anybody about that, though, for real, guys. <laughs> oh, when did you get a gun? Okay, so he's just, like, sneaking out of the bag, I guess. I know that Kahuna Hala and the Professor will keep us safe from any harm, but you should still stay in the bag and out of sight. It's safer that way, motherfucker. <laughs> Lily needs to chill. I think you chose a wonderful Pokemon. Please take good care of it. Sorry, I'm drinking water. I'm still very sick, so my throat's fucked. Uh, that's it, AP. Now that you've got a Pokemon, you're a real Pokemon trainer, yeah? Here's a lovely gift from me to help you make it, to help make it special, cousin. Aw, oh, Daddy's gonna give us a special gift! Oh shit, we got that young Pokedex. Po a Pokedex is a real high-tech and kind of tool, yeah? It can automatically record facts about any Pokemon that you meet. Your new partner, Rowlet, is already registered, yeah? So check it out. Check that shit, bro. And this is a trainer passport I had put together for you. This is your fucking Pokemon green card, man. <laughs> Why don't you go show your mommy your new Pokemon, you little bitch. All right, so let's take a look at our friend real quick. Oh, Rowlet. Look at him. Or her, I guess I should say. Rowlet is adorable. She's got overgrow, leafage tackle. She's docile in nature. <laughs> She's a silly little guy. Or silly little girl. <laughs> or silly little owl. But yes, guys, we're going to continue on our adventure. We're going to go back and talk to our mommy on the next episode. Oh, real quick, before we do that, I'm going to go to Pokemon and me, and we're going to play with Howlet, because it's just fucking adorable. Oh, man, I'm going to have to edit in the bottom screen on this. <laughs> Oh, okay. Hi, friend. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I pet his beak and he bit, or she bit me. Oh, Rowlet. Rowlet. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to get the stylus out because I'm just trying to use my finger on this touchpad and it's not working so well. <laughs> She's a little stumping. Yeah, all right. Now with that, we're going to continue on to the next episode. <laughs> I said the next episode, Rowlet. Come on, bro. All right. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and uh, we will see you next time. Like we said, question of the day is what did you start with, or what would you choose if you don't have the game to start with? And uh, we'll see you guys on the next episode. Thank you so much. Love you. Bye-bye.